changed, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing another card showcase, um, essentially like the superhero one I did last week, and just want to say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing and liking, especially that video got like over 16,000 views, so that's pretty amazing. So, during that video a lot of people were giving some feedback on some of the cards, and, and some people asked me to make some other cards, like from the series so that's what I've done today I've made 15 other cards and the difference between these ones are because they're from the show and not an actual game so I can't really know what the powers are unlike the superhero one they actually were in a game and had like special powers so you know it's kind of kind of simple to go off them like Mysterion is obviously going to come back to life so these ones are taken from the series and just what I think they will have but leave a comment and tell me what you think the cards will do or even more cards that I should do in the future um I do plan on making more of these if there's any anyone I missed really is fun to do so um, once again for people that haven't watched my other video these are fake these are made just for the purpose of the video just so like I can get my ideas across and it's m more pleasing to look at so enough about that let's get into the video all right so first we are starting off with a Cartman and this is police Cartman all right so I'm saying that he's gonna be costing five and he will have around 420 HP and 19 attack similar to um, Sheriff Cartman, but one thing that can make him unique is that his charge ability will arrest the person he's attacking. So, essentially, what you do is just basically lock the person down so he can't attack, can't do anything. Um, probably for a couple seconds, pretty much a long stun, but just for one person. So, if he's if he's attacking a tank like Zen Cartman, he can arrest him and then he won't be able to use his pa basically a power bind, in other words. But um, kind of a unique thing to it since it suits his character. It also works for any other characters, like if someone's pushing you, um, you can put him down and then he can arrest him and he will just stay there for a couple of seconds and you can just pretty much attack him. Okay, next we have Santa. So 100% I do think this card is going to come to South Park. Not really sure about the other Cartman, but I would like to see him come. But um, Santa mainly works with a machine gun, so that's why he has full damage. So essentially every shot he does does full damage, but he has like an, M an M14 or something, so he's just spraying with it. So this could be good against flying attacks, that's why he costs free. Um, it doesn't have a lot of health because he's a ranged unit, but to make him balance, I'm saying that he'll probably shoot around three shots in a second. So at level one, that would be like 16 damage, which actually isn't really good for a second. But to say if you were to level him up, he'll be able to go up to say 10, so that's 30 like damage a second, which could be pretty sick. That's simple one. So now we're going to the next one, which since Mr. Hankey's already in the game, I think this one should come to the game, which is Wizard Mr. Hankey. So obviously he'll be part of the fantasy group. Um, I do think Mr. Hankey costs too much. I don't, I'm don't. i not really sure, but like a uh, legendary rank, you can't really use him. But this time, I want him to be an epic rather than a legendary. And essentially, he's the opposite of Mr. Hankey. So what he'll do, he'll slow the old charge rates of all the enemies. So if they have a huge push going down, you can place him, and it'll take twice as long for them to get the charge up. Now, I actually do hope this does come to the game, because it could be a big game changer, and actually make Mr. Hankey more useful. Because when you put Mr. Hankey down, he'll pretty much counter your wizard mr hankey so it, it, it might give him more use but for his stats once again it's pretty much the exact same as mr hankey just an assassin which will pretty much get one hit by anything now the next card could be a set of cards which i'll talk about in a minute but what i'm saying this card is is zombie pip so i think pip should be a card in the game now the other cards that could go with it is um zombie kenny and zombie clyde as from the statue series they would turn the zombies to Pretty much any other South Park kid, but it could be a unique thing. So what they do is that when Pip kills an enemy and is below 20 HP, he'll turn to a zombie. So he's essentially himself. And then when he kills a target, he will turn to a zombie and gain some health back and uh, extra attack boost. Probably speed up his attacks a bit. I would like to see this type of like zombie thing in the game. Like I said, you can be Clyde or pretty much any other South Park character. That would be pretty cool. Especially during Halloween, they can really make this an actual useful card and a special event kind of thing. Next we have is a legendary and it is Scuzzlebutt, so pretty much another Man Bear Pig, but just a bit weaker. So right now um, Man Bear Pig gets no use pretty much past like rank 35, you hardly ever see him. So maybe if they release him, especially Scuzzlebutt since they're kind of the same, but bas basically make him a, a weaker card just by making him lose 200 HP, 15 attack and 1 actual gauge. So it might make it more viable, I'm not sure, but it, it would be cool to see this guy in the game. Depends how they do it, because Satan is another card that's going to come to the game, and essentially he should be another man bed pig. Not really sure how much of his health is going to be or his cost, but if they do decide to make him pretty much another man bed pig, I think definitely this guy should be in the game. 
So this is a far-fetched one and I personally don't think it'll be in the game, but it'll be really cool to see something like this be in the game. And it is Spooky Fish. Now, to anyone who don't remember him or who hasn't watched the episode, pretty much what he does is just a killer fish who's in Stan's room and he just kills people at night. So what they could do in this game is make him an actual defense thing, which you can tell by the top left. He'll be a neutral card so anyone can use him and he'll cost four. And pretty much what he does is, is that it blocks a path and whoever walks towards him will die. So this can be recounted by using rats because they only kill one of the rats. But to make him balance, what he should do is you only like to place it a certain distance from your tower. So it'll be kind of stupid for them to place it in front of the tower because if they have a tank pushing you, then the tank will just die. And it's not really smart to do that. So if they were to make it so you can only place it just before the line so they kind of have to sacrifice one card and it'll also be cool because if you place on top left basically the enemy will pretty much can't go towards the top left no more so it can only go either the middle or the bottom which leaves you an opportunity to attack from the top left um any range unit could probably destroy it any flying target can just fly over it so it's not really the most op card but something cool in the game okay so staying on the topic of structures the next one is Cross Cartman. So anyone who's watched the episodes, I find it hilarious. Basically, Cartman gets hung on a cross and he pretty much goes skinny. And they could make that into an actual animation in the game. So what he does is removes negative effects from allies. So whenever someone gets like Sloan or Sand the Great to believe, he will cleanse them. Now it's to make it a bit balanced. I'll say it will be a bit random, and it will only take away some people, not all of them. And to make him upgradable. What he could do is upgrade the actual debuffs he removes. So at the start, he might only remove five. But if you get into level six, he could remove like 20 um, debuffs, which could be pretty OP. But to be fair, no one's really going to get to level six. Next on the list, we have Joachasaur. So once again, it's already teased in Space Warriors tokens, actual card art. Um, pretty much another Randy. But it really makes sense for him. As in the actual episode, he produces kids a lot. So... Every his charge is pretty obvious. Well, he gives birth to baby Dracosaurs, which one or two doesn't really matter, but he costs five, 40 damage. The card is crazy. Like, watching him die in game might be pretty, like, funny. So, there's not really a far fetched one, but like, he, he, would, he would fit in the game pretty well since he's any other Randy's like him. Okay, next one I think is pretty sick. So, we have the God. So, this is what God looks like in South Park. And. I think he'd be pretty sick. So his charge ability gives random allies boost. So this could be two things how they could do it. So one, they can either make it anything. So e even like random debuffs. Or it can be any positive ones. So speed attack, attack boost, energy, health boost. And any a boost that could benefit your player in the future. So because of this, I think he will cost around 5. And will be an epic for the neutral theme. Um... Kind of similar to a Marcus, pretty much, where he, he has a lot of health and is pretty hard to kill. Especially for a 5 cost, you know, he can't really just be placing him down. He's got to be with some players, so probably be really useful during the double energy stages. So the reason why I chose this thing ability for him is because in the actual episode where he's actually featured in, he um, gives someone one wish. So similar to that, he basically gives one ally a useful benefit. So next we have is... Something that I really hope is in the game and it will be perfect to count any other like Mecha Teamies or any Zen Cartmans and could be pretty OP but once again it is a charged ability so you'll see what I'm saying in a second. Um, the card we're talking about also links back to the superhero theme and this might encourage people to come over to the superhero theme especially it's going to be so hard to level them up because everyone's going to be having like their max decks and making people switch over might not be a, a possible ability for people but if they get this card, they would. So I'm saying it is Darth Chef. Now I'm so surprised Darth Chef or Chef in general isn't a card in the game. And this works so perfectly as it suits his character. And because he's a superhero, it would suit the superhero theme. So his charge ability pulls the enemy towards him. So if they have a stupid Mecha Team or Zen Cartman that's pushing you, you can spawn this guy down and his charge ability will go up and he'll pull him towards you. So now that sounds OP, but it is a charge ability. So we. Your opponent will know that he's going to pull someone towards him and you can spawn rats similar to Mecha Timmy how you can counter him. Um, you can also just one bang him since he does cost 6 you can use any abilities so you'll be ahead of the game. Um, if they do pull Zen Cartman you can just go for an aggressive attack since Zen Cartman is attracting everyone and everyone's still hitting him so it's not really 
it won't change the game as much but it will really encourage people to come to the superhero theme and i think i mean if if, if they don't add him i'll be i'll be shocked because it works so well and now since we're on the topic of fantasies we have zombie chef now they could make a chef card normally but this one's pretty cool so once again it's from the fantasy because it's from like the sticker roof game so it would work for them and the reason why he has zero attack and costs five pretty much what he does is like in uh, sticker roof boss fight he will bite the opponent for a couple of seconds and then actually turn him into a zombie now what makes this kind of op is that when you turn him you can't turn him back so purify won't work or if they really wanted to, they could make it up. But it also will link back to the zombie theme that I'm talking about before with Pip. So this card does no damage, but all you will do will pretty much convert someone into your team. Now, this could be useful for them people who just spawn Zen Cartman's in and you wipe out the whole team and Zen Cartman's just sat at your base just soaking damage and they're just getting energy back. So you can spawn Chef down and he will turn them into your team. Now to make him kind of balance, he does cost 5, he does no damage, so you can just use a um, any one hit kills to take him out easy. Now hopefully he does come to the game, if not with that ability, something cool. Um, Chef should be a card in the game, I see he's like a big, you don't think what's an early South Park. Now down to the last 4 cards, which are all legendaries, and someone did request for me to do this, so that's this is for you I guess. So we have Let's Fight in Love, Kenny which is the actual anime versions of these characters from the South Park um, episode, Good Times with Weapons. Now they can either do two things with these cards, is make them all legendary, so they're all unique, um, or release all four together, but re only make one legendary, one epic, one common, one rare, which would be pretty useful, but for me, I'm saying that they're all gonna be legendaries. So this Kenny is a ranged unit, which is different to other Kenny's because they're normally all assassins, and 40 damage, five cost, I'm basically saying he's similar to Bebe, so his charge ability will fire shurikens at enemies in range. So any target in range will get pretty much 40 damage towards them. Don't think these cards will be too OP, but it'd be cool to see him. Um, especially with the legendary buff, it might make him more useful if they were in the game in the future. Uh, so next we have Let's Fight and Love Cartman. So obviously another tank, cost 6, 780 health, 31 attack. And this could be something useful and it suits his character. His charge ability sits down and knocks back enemies. So if so if you're in the middle of the field and you use his ability, any assassins who especially Ike, who don't weigh a lot because they actually are weight mechanics in this game, they will go flying and be knocked back pretty fast, so they have to run back over to the field. Um it might even knock him back to the left, so they gotta push to that it'll push past you and then basically you can just take him out by putting one in any card down. So pretty much is a harder PC principle push, but for all enemies that's in his radius. Okay, next we have is Let's Fight and Love Stan. And I didn't know where his ability was, but I just took something from the actual series. So what he did in the series was a kickback. And so what I'm saying he'll do is charge ability will be a kickback. Now if you look at his health and damage, he'll probably have a slow attack speed. But his charge ability will kick back the enemy, so they go flying once again with the weight mechanics. And he'll get a, like one attack boost for one hit, so either double his attack for 140 damage, and when they come over, standard attack speed is slow, so if they do manage to get kicked away with low health, they'll come over and finish him off, but if they don't, Stan will have double damage for one attack, and I reckon pretty much. Um, if it's a tank, then he'll still be alive, but any other, any other character will probably get killed by this by the time you actually use his ability. And lastly, out of all the 15 cards, we have Let's Fight and Love Kyle. So, this is a hard one, so comment below what you think this guy should have. I have no idea what you can do. Since he is assassin, he can't really have a charge ability, so I'm saying he'll have a war cry. And he'll just shoot a laser, since in the actual episode, he does shoot lasers out of his nunchucks. So, he'll shoot a laser at the enemy from any direction, and whoever's in the way will just die. But it will be cool to see him, since he is an assassin, which will be the first for Kyle's. He does have a lot of attack, but also a really weak, so, and for four costs, he might not be the best. Um, they might, if they were to release him and they were to do what I say, they will probably have to make him a bit cheaper, but I'm not really sure. He might have a fast attack speed, so he will be viable at a certain level. Most assassins will probably be him, but but after 15 minutes or 14 minutes pretty much, um, the video is done and that's all 15 cards. So once again, these are all fake. They just help me with visuals and it's kind of good to look at and you know get an idea of what it could look like in game well the cards at least um if you have any ideas on what the card should be leave a comment if you have any other cards which should be added to the game
that actually isn't already leaked because there are some cards like Saint and Terence and Philip who are actually going to probably be in the game, so that's why they're not on the list. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. This had been a long video, but I did hope you enjoyed it. It took me a couple couple hours to make these cards, so I do appreciate anyone who leaves any comments or likes this video. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.